What's up, Urban Acolyte Army? My name is Prince, and I am an Urban Acolyte. I'm rocking my solo, a Star Wars story-inspired Urban Acolyte gear, and I'm ready to talk some Han Solo with y'all. I'm gonna be a pilot. Best in the galaxy. Heard about a job. Big shot gangster putting together a crew. Who are these guys? On Solo, Lando Carrizzi. Whoa, is that a Wookiee? May 25th. If you come with us, you're in this life for good. You in? That's yes. Solo, a Star Wars story. PG-13. All right, are y'all getting hype? Y'all getting hype? May 25th, Solo, a Star Wars story. It is already uh, May 2nd. So it is it is going to be here before you know it. We got I mean we're still talking Infinity War. We got Deadpool May 18th and then a week later Solo a Star Wars story. So this TV spot came out last night. It's called Team and uh we're we're seeing shots of the team, right? This is something I predicted 2 years ago on Chris Perillo's Holocron Hangout. I said that I think this is going to be something like an Ocean's Eleven, Ocean's Twelve. So Han Solo was probably part of a crew of smugglers. So something like an Ocean's Eleven movie where maybe they pull off some heist on Nar Shadda and Han Solo is part of the crew, but he's not the leader. So it's it takes the the all the attention off, hey, this guy who's not Harrison Ford has to carry this movie is Han Solo and he's part of a crew where maybe you push somebody else into the lead that we've never heard of. So now it's like, oh, well, Han Solo's in this movie, but it's about something else. You know, they're all getting together and they're, 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 they're masters of whatever their craft is. All these masters getting together to pull off a big heist, right? And within that, that heist story, there are these other, everyone's got their own little stories going on, their own little plots, right? So that's what we're seeing here is that we're getting ready to pull off a big heist for a big shot gangster. We're going to get introduced to Beckett, who is Han's mentor, right? And, and in the process of that, we learn, and, and Kira, who's someone who, it seems that Han has a long history on Corellia, Right. So we're going to go to Corellia and finally see it. Maybe we see Coronet City. There's some significance there because we're talking canon. One storyline. Everything is connected in some way, shape or form. Right. What's the last time that we saw Coronet City moving forward into this story? You know, the Force Awakens, the last Jedi. We go to Aftermath, where the museum, there was the heist there on Coronet City. A, a lightsaber was stolen, uh, maybe a Sith lightsaber, the Acolytes of the Beyond. Where, how, how far back does that go? How deep is that? Uh, because this is a time where the Empire is fully in control, right? Corellia, they're cranking out Star Destroyers and, and ships for the Empire, could could we see glimpses of that, even though, you know, we think there's not going to be any force stuff here. But, you know, I'm thinking there's a reason that Han Solo is very um, agnostic regarding the force. Right. Because maybe he had a bad brush with something or or, or it left a bad taste in his mouth. And maybe we get to see that here. Right. So, you know, we're getting introduced to Beckett and Kira, people who have ties to Han Solo's past. And like I said, it's a heist movie, but we're getting all these other stories and all those other stories. The origin of Han Solo, a coming of age of Han Solo. If you start this life, you're going to walk this path. To the day you die and he literally does right he's getting hunted down by kanji club and um and the what is the, the death squad the i can't even remember right and 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 you know running uh, smuggling things for what is a king prawn or prawn or something like that and you know runs dead smack into ray and finn which leads him to Starkiller Base, where he meets his end at the hands of his own son, right? Ben Solo, right? Uh, and we're introduced to this character, Val, and it appears that Val has ties to the Empire. 
uh, they're conducting some kind of heist and it's bringing them, you know, dead smack into the empire. Maybe they have to infiltrate the empire. They're stealing, there's a train heist, right? Very, something from a Western, right? And they're running into like some kind of swoop gang. And, and there's this, what, who's this character, Enfy's Nest? And what is, what is going on there? And how is the Pike Syndicate involved in all of this, right? So we're going to get our real glimpse into the underworld that may or may not involve Jabba. I mean, hey, it would be cool if the Hut Cartel is involved in this too. And that that's, you know, because uh, these, these trailers don't show everything and we're learning now. You can't trust everything you see in the trailer, right? In Infinity War, you know, we saw the Hulk. And then in the movie, it's the Hulk buster. You don't actually see the Hulk, you know, because Thanos beat the brakes off of the Hulk. And he's like, no, no. Right. So that was a misdirect. We had misdirects in The Last Jedi. Ray is raising a lightsaber at Luke. And in the movie, she's lowering the lightsaber. Right. Things being played backwards. Think tricks being played on us to keep us guessing so that we have no idea what's going on. But back to the team, how does Han and how do Han and Chewie meet? Dude, what's your name? There's no way I'm saying that. You got to have a nickname. And that's the origin of Chewie, right? The shortening of Chewbacca to Chewie. And Han understands uh, Wookiee, ease, you know, sheer Wook. Is that, is that what the language is? Um, how does Han meet Lando? And what's the significance of the die, right? That we see in The Last Jedi, right? So... This movie, this is kind of the love child, the love project that George Lucas and Lawrence Kasdan started, uh, what, six years ago? And now it's 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 fully realized. And I think that some of this stuff is going to bleed over into The Last Jedi and into Episode 9. And there's there the, the mythos, the mythology of Han Solo is just going to expand. We've got Last Shot which is an adventure. Uh, if you haven't, if you don't know about the book, it's an adventure uh, with Han and Lando that takes place uh, a year, uh, several years after Aftermath wraps up. I think Ben Solo is a toddler. He's walking and talking at this point, right? So he's about two or three years old, if I'm not mistaken. And then we've got another book coming out about Han, young Han Solo and Kira. Right. Maybe they're doing some adventures on Corellia that may take place before the several years before the events in this movie. Right. And there's going to be more lots of Han Solo stuff coming out over the summer. Maybe uh, I think there's going to be a Lando focused adventure or something. Right. So this is expanding the universe, expanding the galaxy. And for those people who aren't interested in the force stuff, uh, the Jedi and Sith stuff and the people doing, you know, magic and carrying lightsabers. This is something for them. Right. And it might be something that builds up the potential Boba Fett movie if we're going to get one. Because recall that this Han Solo project started out as a Boba Fett movie and things happen in pre-production in the, the, the Boba Fett thing. Hey, you know what? George wanted us to do a Han movie. Let's scrap this in. Well, all of the work that we've done, let's let's turn this into Han Solo, right? So, you know, so this is going to be a disaster. Well, you know, it was a Boba Fett movie and they took, you know, they, they took their lemons and made lemonade and said, well, it, the Boba Fett thing's not working. Let's make it a Han Solo thing. And then Lord Miller got dismissed. And maybe there were issues with Alden Ehrenreich. I don't know. I don't want to throw the guy under the bus. Right. Uh, but they said, OK, well, we'll bring in Ron Howard and we're going to turn these lemons into more lemonade. And in a few weeks, you know, we're going to get to drink lemonade. And I hope it's good because, hey, man, it, it's already getting hot and humid here in Tennessee. I could go for some lemonade I could go for Han Solo. I can go for the Mother of Dragons. I'm getting ready to check out Westworld. So when I see Val, you know, I'm not trying to objectify her or anything. But Lord, Lord, I love me some Tandy Newton. So, uh, you know, I, I want to appreciate Val. Hey, baby, I'll pick out that fro for you. Uh, I want to see Pimp Juice. Ooh -wee. 
I'm ready to see young Lando get his pimp juice on because I know that there's something going on between him and Kira. I think we've got something special, girl, you and me. All right, that was the wrong key, but you know what? You know what I'm saying, though. I think there's something special going on between Lando and Kira. You know, they need a ship. She knows a guy. How does she know a guy? Pimp juice is all I'm saying. I want to know what's up with Enfy's nest in this swoop bite gang, and you know, who is this big hot shot gangster? And you know that there's going to be a big double cross. Does Beckett double cross everyone? Does Han end up double crossing Beckett? How does that all go down? How does Han acquire the Millennium Falcon? The real story. And will we see the Kessel Run in this movie? So those are my thoughts. I want to hear yours. So let me know your thoughts, your likes, your dislikes. What are you most anticipating in Han Solo. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I'll be checking back to see what you all have to say. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, click that subscribe button and take your first steps towards joining the Urban Acolyte Army. Embark on the journey of becoming the hero of your own story and become a force for change in your community. Continue to support the channel. You can do that by checking out more videos from this channel and sharing them with your friends because that's how you spread that's how you spread what we're trying to do now. You share the videos and uh, and, and and more people get involved and they 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 say, hey, man, I want to join the army, too. So, uh, you know, like it if you like it. Don't if you don't and share it if you love it. So that's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Y'all keep on breathing and may the force of others be with you always.